Okay, Sam Calora is quite creative, and he started doing some antler artwork. So here are two of the chandeliers that he has created and are for sale. Uh, he took our daughter Christy, who has just turned 16 on a bear hunt in Canada, and uh, Christy was the only one at camp that killed her bear, and she was using a bow. So we sent the picture off and had it made into a blanket or a cotton throw, and we sell those packages in our shop um, so that anyone can buy the package and uh, send their picture to the company for uh, it to be made into a piece of artwork. They also do pillows and our gift to our grandsons when they shoot their first buck is to have their picture on a couple of pillows. One for them to use now and the other to save as a, um, a piece that they can enjoy when they're an adult. Uh, this piece of artwork is uh, called The Stomping Grounds. The artist is uh, Dan Ranshaw from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And uh, we offer two sizes. Um, typically, uh, you can buy them framed or you can buy just the print and have it framed yourself with the type of wood that matches your own decor. Uh, this coffee table was also made by Sam and Christy. Christy drew the picture of the uh, elk that is sandblasted into the glass, the bottom of the glass. And the antlers on this elk, bull elk, are actually the antlers that uh, form the base of the coffee table. So this is also a piece that we have for sale uh, in our shop. Now Sam um, had been doing a number of relief carving pieces and he sculpted the Calora Buck. Uh, the Calora Buck was the um, highest gross scoring typical whitetail uh, in the world ever taken with a bow that Sam harvested in 1996. He brought that buck in uh, using doe and estrus five and a half weeks prior to the height of the rut. So that was a significant um, um, for using uh, the doe and estrus pre-rut. He also sculpted um, just the head and that is also available for sale. Now we can sell uh, four more of the full-size, uh, life-size bronzes that are uh, that you saw sitting next to the waterfall up on the Rock Mountain that has become the icon in southeast Iowa. Uh, we could sell four more pieces of that but the bronze pricing fluctuates and so it is a matter of contacting Sam to find out at what it would cost um, at the time. Uh, 